are you going to be okay when I'm gone? Mm. I'll be fine. Of course I will. I, I, it's my fifth tour. Yeah, but things are completely different this time. Do you know, I think I'm going to offer my help in supporting the wives. I don't trust that Lisa, you know, the new RSM's wife. She's very cavalier about the whole thing. Well, I'm sure she has a plan. Mm. Not that she won't appreciate your support as well. Look after Mummy. If she gets upset, give her a hug. Oh. Okay, good boy. This is going to keep you safe while I'm away, just like mine will keep me safe. Kids. Okay, remember what we do with this. Cross chop every day. Yeah, until Daddy's home. And we are chuff chuff. Chuffed. Yeah. Check out the blast boxes. Not funny, Rad. What? The Kevlo. Just protecting the family jewels for your pleasure. Who's she talking to? I don't know. Better not be talking to those lads. I was a lad once, remember? Yeah, thanks. That's really helpful. Is that my razor? Are you packing my stuff up again before I've left? No. Well, I'm taking this. Why? You're not going to read it. Sam, it's about leadership. Fine. Last time you took war and peace, and your whole time reading the Heat magazine and watching fucking rom com. So. Are you angry? No, I don't give a shit what you read. I'm just getting ready for another six months as a single mother. All right. Yeah, you can forget about me now. Do you really want me to? to me and I mean proper letters not just emails come here Jumbo crossword in the newspaper, so I printed it off the internet. No crossword. What's it go? Hello, Lisa. Uh, wait for a meeting with Crooks. I forgot the clocks went forward. Uh oh. <laughs> well, don't worry about it. The brigadier's still in there with him. Oh, great. Mm, great. 
Quite right. I imagine the spouses are quite anxious. We all know what to expect this time around. Who's your point person? Lisa Lawson is the RSM's wife, sir. She wasn't too chuffed to get the job, but I think she'll rise to it. Well, these things don't happen overnight. And Kate Barclay will help with the pastoral care. Kate will? Yes, sir. She volunteered. I think after losing Jamie on the last tour, she's keen to keep herself occupied. Sorry to interrupt. Kate. Hello, Jeremy. Good to see Brigadier you. Brigadier and I were just discussing new welfare directives, you know, social activities, getting the, the women on board. Oh, <laughs> top brass telling us what to do. <laughs> <laughs> I think I should leave you to it. Colonel Barclay's wife would like to take a more active role in supporting the spouses during this deployment. Oh! I know it's not customary for the Colonel's wife to get her hands dirty, so to speak. Yeah, exactly. That's my role. No, of course, of course. So, um, what do you have in store in terms of uh, social activities? Well, we have our coffee mornings. Coffee so. mornings, yeah. And? Potluck parties. A potluck mm -hmm. party. That's when everyone brings a dish and gets drunk. <laughs> of course, we've got my walk on the moors. Well, with the greatest respect, Kate, most women don't have a mess to drink in. You know, they can't go into town and get pissed, so they need somewhere to let off a bit of steam. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> um, so, anything else? Well, why don't we just brainstorm with the women at the next coffee morning? Go and have a play with um, You can bring Dutch cake, you can bring whatever cakes you want. You can or not. Um, just introduce you to Annie and Helen. This is Sarah, Private Wheeler's wife. Oh, yeah. I just marched right. in yesterday. You're settling in all right, yeah? Fine, yeah. Except everyone keeps asking me what rank I am. What is that? They don't like squash little turns. I think it's um, Kate's contribution. So, Lisa seems to be running late. Oh, no, no, she, she, she's here. Hey. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Would you like to come to the front? No, you're grand. You don't want to kick things off? What has kicked off? What do people do in these coffee mornings? Well, I think they just drink coffee. <laughs> sorry, everyone. Hello. Uh, if you'd all like to gather round and um, take a seat. Come well, on, there's no need to be shy. Front row's nice and empty. <laughs> so, some of you don't know me. I'm Kate Barclay, Colonel Barclay's wife. Today, we need to come up with some exciting activities and pursuits for us to do while our service people are away. So, should we start? Um, Lisa. 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 Do you think you could write? So, I thought we could have a formal dinner once a month to explore all aspects of global cuisine. Then perhaps the film night could become a film season where we could examine the body of an auteur and would provide an educational aspect to leisure pursuits in a non-alcoholic environment. <laughs> so what, what's the matter? No, no, it's just in general when we watch films. You know, usually we like them to be um, fun. <laughs> well, perhaps we could open the ideas to the room. Yeah. Well, we did a book club in Germany. Book club, great, great, super. Uh, what about a, a footy club? We had a cracking five-a-side in Aldershot. It was something else. Football, yes, why not? Start a needlework club. Needlework, right. Baking or bread making. Yeah. Yeah, and then we could collect arms for the poor and... Do a bit of basket weaving. <laughs> oh, it's all a bit little women, isn't it? Let's just get the strippers in. Oh, yeah. Let's give the rear party soldiers a case of beer and have a Mr. World contest. Well, yes, that would be very entertaining. <laughs> but we're actually, right now, we're looking for, for clubs to join. Well, what about singing? Singing? My bridesmaids did Angels by Robbie at my wedding. It was, it was amazing. OK, um, yeah, super. Uh, choir. Has anyone had any experience of running a choir? Lisa, you're um, musical, no? 